What's up YouTube? I'm back again with another video and this video topic is a little different from my other video topics but I just wanted to come to you all and make this video about hair because I'm about to wash my hair and I've been having a lot of discussions lately with a lot of people about hair, hair texture, hair growth, hair progress and loving your hair. So I just want to come with this video about 4C hair and learning to love your 4C hair. Because a lot of people do not love their 4C hair. And I'm here to give you the reasons why you should love your 4C hair. Rule. <laughs> Reason number one is because this is the hair that God gave you. I believe that God gave all of us everything that we need. It's all on the inside. It's all inside. So therefore, we don't need to have hair like Susie and hair like Mary and hair like Christina and hair like Jessica or whoever to ha be considered beautiful hair. You do not have to have loosely curled hair or 3C hair, 3A hair, 2B hair to be considered beautiful. You can be beautiful with your hair just like this. And I want to make this video now because I washed my hair on Saturday and I did not put any product in it. I didn't do anything to it. Like I literally just went like this right now and it's Monday and I'm about to go wash my hair again so I can get braids. And so before I got the braids, I wanted to do the video now before I got the braids. And just tell you guys, like, God gave us the hair that we have because that's the hair that we needed. God knew exactly what we needed before we were born. Like, everything about us is on purpose. There's nothing about us that's an accident. So therefore, if you want to change your hair, that's up to you. But it's kind of like saying, like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to say, well, you feel like God made a mistake. But I want you to know that God didn't make it. He made your hair exactly how it's supposed to be. He knew that you needed that texture. He knew you needed that length. He knew you needed all that you needed because maybe you wouldn't be able to handle it if you had 3C hair or 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 two a B hair or wavy hair or straight hair. Maybe that's not for you. This hair may be what teaches you about the strength that comes from you. Like this hair, 4C hair is like it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful texture of hair it is strong it defies gravity it doesn't grow down like this but up like this yeah i can wear my hair in an afro and i know people that's like oh man i want an afro so bad and they can't get an afro i can get an afro just like how there are things that you want you have things that other people want like we all have struggles we all go through things and we all feel like oh i want this i want that but i feel like we all need to learn to accept ourselves exactly how we are because God made us that way okay 4c hair can be anything that you want it to be yeah it may not look exactly like all the other girls or how society defines your hair is supposed to look but it is the hair for you like it's it's the hair for you it's perfect for you it's perfect for your face it's perfect for the way that it grows it grows in the shape of a crown okay it's the closest to our, the hair of our ancestors in the bible they say jesus had hair like wool okay this is as close to wool as we're gonna get as for hair on human and earth and yeah it's pretty dry i need to moisturize it and for c hair you just need a little extra moisture it just needs a little extra moisture it's not like it's just this awful terrible looking unpresentable unkept hair it is beautiful hair you just need to moisturize your hair like everybody else moisturizes hair you just need a little extra love this hair just needs a little extra love, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And the whole concept of good hair, there's no such concept of good hair. All hair is good hair because it grew out of your head and it comes from your body. So it's good hair. hair. All hair is good hair because God gave it to you. That's why all hair is good hair. So this video may be coming out a little, a little jumbled, a little jumbled. But... It's just because I have so much to say on this topic about natural hair. Not just natural hair, but for type A hair because a lot of people have type A, type a hair and do not like it. They do not love it. And I want you to know that you should love your hair because this is the hair that our ancestors, we came from Africa. This is the hair that used to protect our ancestors' head in the sun when their head would burn in the sun because they'd be outside all day. This hair will protect their head. This hair is your crown, okay? His hair is like Jesus' hair. You're close to Jesus. With this hair, you look like Jesus, okay? 
that's why you should love your hair. You should love your hair because it's yours. And if you don't love your hair because it looks like Jesus and because God gave it to you, or any of those reasons that you don't feel like it's meant for you, you should love your hair because it's yours. And you can't change it. I mean, you can get a perm, and you can get a re you can get a relaxer, and you can get a texturizer, and you can dye your hair all the different colors so that your hair texture loosens up. But at the end of the day, excuse me, your hair texture is still going to be yours. Your hair is still going to be the way that it is. It's going to grow out that way. It comes from God, and most likely your kid's hair is going to come out the same way. And so that way you can teach, once you learn to love your hair, you can teach your kids to love their, their hair. And teach other little girls who didn't love their hair to love their hair. There's a song by a singer named Aisha Woods. And she says, if every day, okay, I'm going to get to this point first. If you had the easiest type of hair to manage, like you'd be like, oh, hair is nothing, no big deal. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be, maybe you wouldn't be able to appreciate it the way that you would if you didn't. There's a song by a singer named Aisha Woods, and she says, if every day was an easy day, you would have, you wouldn't be able to say that Jesus brought us through. So every, so the trials that you go through, you're able to say that Jesus brought you through. And if you never had any trials to go through, you would have never been able to say Jesus brought you through. And you would never have that experience. Again. So you may not be religious for watching this video, but I am here to tell you that you need to love this hair because it is the hair that you have. And there's nothing you can do to change it, no matter what. Is going to be the hair that you have. So if you have 4A four, four hair, 4C four hair, 4 four type, type 4 hair, learn to love your hair every day. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful. If no one told you that you're beautiful today, I'm telling you, you're beautiful. All right, y'all. Peace. It's your girl, Jamie.